at all. Um, first of all, yeah, I see you uh, at your Yeah. I'm, I'm supporting a young fighter, Alex, um, coming through. Um, he's, he's being trained by a, an older oh, opponent of mine, um, an older coach of mine, yeah. uh, Luke Portania. So um, no, I come to support the boys. Yeah. It's obviously like you've retired now, so it must be coming to an event like something different. Like you're, you know, you're not a boxer anymore. You're yeah, like, yeah. I mean, it's still, uh, it's still nice. Uh, the atmosphere is still good in yeah. your pool, and uh, hey, it brings back some good memories coming back here and seeing some old faces. It's, it's nice. How's it feel being now an ex-boxer? Is it kind of like relief um, or is it? Well, less, less, less tiring. Uh, no, I'm not going to come back. Um, I, I enjoy yeah. my career and I'm, I'm thankful to come out of it with my health, yeah. my faculties intact. Yeah. Um, because some guys, they, they can't, they don't have the privilege of saying that. So, um, no, I'm, like I say, I'm, I'm pleased with what I've done and um, I'm, I'm happy in the place I'm in. One thing I'd like to know is when, when kind of boxers say coming to the last few years of their career. Yeah. So what, what point do you start planning for the future as in right okay, what couple of years this is potentially what I want to do, maybe investments or training? Yeah, something you probably should do, something I didn't really do myself. I I I had my education behind me so I kind of I made sure that I had that to fall back upon. So I, I kind of, I didn't really look at um, anything other than boxing. And I think you need to be fully focused on boxing. So that's where it's important to have people to care for you to kind of look out for you. When you when you're in there doing it, because you, your mind needs to be 100 on the job. So for me, it was only after the last fight, and it was probably a couple of hours after the last fight when I was stitched up, and I see how bad the cut was, and I thought, do you know what? Enough's enough. enough. The, the, the time is right. Kind of, kind of yeah, like time if if time. if I'm if I'm getting cut that much, and that's kind of on the surface, what's happening internally? Yeah. So for me, that was no, nah, that wasn't that was enough. What's going to be the plan kind of going forward? Like, do you want to start training? Do you want to get into management, or do you, um, do you just want to be a fan now? Yeah, just going to be a fan. Um, I think if I if I have five boys, um, then I'll probably train them and yeah. kind of t teach them. But I think it's and if I if I do if I see a fighter coming through, yeah. and I kind of take a shine to him and I see that he's got the potential, yeah. then maybe I'll I'll jump in and I'll help give try and give some advice and guidance and do a little bit of training on the side. Um, a friend of mine, Simon Johnson, is. His son Jacob Johnson sort of coming through, and he's a very, very talented fighter. He's an amateur at the moment; he's only 14. He's mixing it with a lot of um, yeah, seniors and pros. Kind of so yeah, yeah, if I can give him a little bit of advice on yeah. diet and training, then um, I'll be more than happy to. But he's got a good trainer in Luke, and mm -hmm. his coaches at Islington Boxing Club. So oh, he's, he's in good hands. Uh, what about punditry? Because you know, I think you're very well spoken. Like, you know, I know you don't yeah, if, if the if the opportunity arises, then uh, then I'll be more than happy to, to talk boxing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But um, yeah, at the moment I'm I'm content in I'm working in the construction industry yeah. as a um, as an MD for a family, family yeah. business. So you kind of got something now that's yeah. like keeping yeah. busy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And now you just like, yeah. Um, I'm trying to find a bit of spare time to do my yeah. own training and do a little bit of bag work when I can. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least yeah. you can, you know, don't need to wash your hands anymore. Yeah, that's it. Well, I'm about 95 kilos now, so <laughs> I'm uh, quite a way above my uh, fighting weight. Cool. Um, just, just last thing, I know you've yep. got, um, obviously the light, the British light heavyweight scene is yeah, pretty buzzing. Yeah, pretty buzzing. Very at the moment. Good. Like, what do you make of like, like they're not really fighting each other at the moment? Like, I understand that the whole promotional aspects and stuff, but yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a shame really. But when you're in boxing, I kind of um from from me been there and looking in, I understand what what's going on because. If the fight doesn't work financially for the promoters and the managers and the, and the fighters, then that's why it's not going to happen. If there's bigger opportunities on the on the world scene or the global scene, then they're going to go that route because at the end of the day, money talks. I mean, I'd like to see you on the UFC. Um, yeah. Obviously, you've had your money worked for Bones and Yeah. He's not really, since you've no, no, really right, yeah. fought yeah. anyone, you know, he's yeah. only been six rounds. And yeah. Like, yeah. He's kind of the, the man no one wants to fight. I know. But I think. For Jose, he needs to uh, kind of just take it out of the hands of the the British fighters and maybe go a different route, go uh, go international, get himself like, in mandatory position for world titles because he's a very very talented fighter and uh, I think he's got the potential he's to be underrated, oh, he's massively underrated. Yeah, he's a very good fighter. And finally, uh, Boaxi, you've got your day four. Yeah, you see, you see I'll probably have to lean towards um, Boaxi because he's probably mixed up a better competition. Yard, he hasn't done anything wrong, but I kind of. It's hard for me to make a, a probably a, a valued opinion on him until I see him in against a guy that's kind of coming to win that's got a decent regimen. 
Alright, well, thank you very much. No, for my, my pleasure. Let's say for me just so people follow you, still follow you. And, uh, uh, don't worry about following me. Hearts Heritage Building and Roofing Limited. That's <laughs> what you want to follow. <laughs> <laughs> Tell man.